G'day mates, what is going on? Today we are here at Funnel Hacking Live. We just got done with the event. I'm here with Taylor Armstrong again. You guys have seen this guy before. And guys, we wanted to make this video real quick. We, we literally just got done about 20, 30 minutes ago here. And we wanted to share with you one of the biggest takeaways that we have had from this event to really help you guys in your life, your business, and the, you know, the things that you're trying to do right now in your life. So, let's get started, let's dive into this because it was actually an epiphany that, and, and a realization that both of us had while we were at the event. Um, so Taylor, what was it that has you know, changed your life now going forward that you learned today, or yeah. the last couple of days? Yeah, so first of all, let me see, if you guys aren't going to events, you should start going to some. You probably realize that this is our second event in like three weeks now. So you don't want to overdo it, but we just couldn't pass this up. It's too good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we just got done with Tony Robbins. Pretty life changing. Pretty magical. Mind blown. First time we saw Tony Robbins for both of us, I think, right? Yep. But he recommended going to minimum two to three events like this a year. Not only because you learn new stuff, but it just gets you in a new state of mind. Just changes your mindset. We got some key takeaways from Tony Robbins that we're going to share with you from what we learned so do you want yeah to first for sure so like the biggest thing here and going off what Taylor just said is and this was kind of another break there's so many moments that we had in this event where we we're like oh my gosh like this is life-changing you know and one of those things was you know the state of mind change and how he said we should be going to two to three events but let me tell you guys why you should be and you know Taylor touched on that it allowed you to have a, a, a change in your state of mind and and you're just your state in general. And so when you can surround yourself and go to these events and be around people who have the same level of mindset, the same kind of aspirations and goals that you want and be around people who are successful, it's gonna allow you to immerse yourself in an environment that helps you think above average, think above the level that you're currently at now. And that's why they're so powerful because there's so much noise out there in the world. There's so much crap that we hear from even friends and family that will drag us down. And these events remind us and help us get back to where we want to be and realize that it's okay, you know, where we're currently at and it helps show us the direction of where we're going to go and the potential and reminds us of our potential. So, you know, this biggest state, this bigger, <laughs> this change of state that we're talking about, um, Taylor, maybe you can dive into exactly what that, what, what we mean when we say that. For sure. So if any of you have been to Tony Robbins events, you know that he has you jumping up and down the whole time. <laughs> he has you clapping. That was, we weren't quite used to that. We hadn't seen anything quite like it. Nope. <laughs> but definitely uh, expanded our perspective. And so I think at the beginning, we didn't really know exactly why he was having us do all this crazy stuff. It seemed like we really caught us off guard a little bit. <laughs> As we got more and more into it, he talked about just getting in that right state Anytime you learn something, you have to be in the right emotional state for it. He gave the example of asking everyone where they were on 9-11. Everyone mm -hmm. knew right off that. He said sure, you guys remember. Exactly. Where, you know, where, right, right now, like, think about where were you on 9-11? Like, most of us can remember that moment in time. Yeah. So. And so, yeah, we have the emotions connected to a learning experience or something that happened. He did that same comparison with anything we're trying to learn, whether it's in business, in life. If we can make an emotional connection with it and get in the right state, then it's gonna be much easier to remember what we're learning with it. And then with it, getting in the right state, he said you gotta have the focus, and you gotta have the right uh, physical states to be able to do things, to be able to create change. So we had to do some pretty crazy physical kind of, I guess, manifestations to get in the right state too. Yeah, he did, yeah. He, uh, yeah, I think that <laughs> the stuff that we just did inside that building right there, I mean, I did stuff that I've never done before and I'm sure you could probably say the same thing. Yeah. And the reason for that is, you know, talking a little bit about the physical side of what Taylor's talking about in this, this change of state. You know, even before this event, guys, like I thought that this is all about changing your mindset and that's the core of what you need to do in order to get the success that you want. While that's all important, changing your state is something that's even deeper or more important than changing your mindset. And it has to do with your heart, where your heart is, because the heart actually controls what you think. 
So, you know, before I was thinking more of our mind is what controls what we do, but in, in essence, what Tony has been telling us is that everything changes from your heart. You, you know, he, he explained how when, you know, we are born and, and we're a fetus, the heart is the first thing that develops. The heart is the first thing that starts beating before the brain is even made. So that tells us something about, you know, where everything started, it's in our heart. And this state of mind that he talks about, or the, the state change, sorry, that he talks about, allows you to go from being depressed to being happy in an instant. And there's certain activities that we did to get ourselves motivated and pumped up and literally change the way that we interact with people and the way that we feel based on what things we do physically, right? Yeah. Yeah, and one of the things he had us do, thought was really powerful. We basically did a sales pitch or a pitch on why, why our customers should pick us to do business instead of our competitors or instead of other people. A lot of people couldn't answer that, but we had to pick a partner. We had to explain it, and he had to do it in a diff couple different states. Number one was like super bored, or as if we were scared to ask for, to persuade the other person, super nervous. And so we were trying to do it. We were like a little bit, you know, acting uncomfortable. So he had us realize what we were doing during that, and then what it was that made it uncomfortable. We changed to the next state of doing it. Super excited of actually trying to, you know, convince another person, trying to show them why they should do business with us. And then he had us write down or the other person tell what the differences were. Really powerful to realize what those physical differences were. And it just goes to so that you can change it in an instant if you realize what the things are. You can do a lot of things. That's why he had us jump up and down. That's why he had us yelling. That's why he had us giving each other hugs. You get more hugs than you'll ever get in your life if you go to Tony Robbins' event. So <laughs> any of you are feeling unloved, get up a Tony Robbins' event. Yeah, definitely super powerful. Yeah, I, like I love the way that, you know, Taylor just explained that because that's like literally what we did. Like we physically got in a position where like, Taylor and I and other people, we would stand in front of each other and act as though we had to sell the customer in a certain state to notice what was going on, right? So for example, going a little more detail to what Taylor just said, when we were asked to do in a scared or, you know, kind of hesitant way, nervous way, you know, I was kind of, you know, I would talk really, really slowly. I would kind of be like leaning back a little bit. Um, I wouldn't have eye contact with Taylor. Um, I, I wouldn't be very, I wouldn't, I'd be talking really slow. I wasn't using hand just kind of have my hands down like this. And so I was communicating into in that way and he was able to tell me and notice like what was going on in that role play. But then we did a switch it around and did it in a happy state where I was very like, you know, expressive. Um, I was using hand gestures. I was talking with passion and, and with, uh, you know, with, um, yeah, with passion and then he was able to tell me the differences between me acting nervous and scared and me acting certain that I could sell him on the idea of starting a business together. And so noticing those differences will help you point out what it takes you to change your state from kind of sad, you know, unhappy, worried to a happy state, a, a motivated, a certain state where you're actually full of energy and, and excitement and passion and you know, like he said, doing those exercises made us realize you can change in an instant. It doesn't take time to change. It just takes, it, you just have to make the change in your state at that, at that moment. And that was just like, I hope that we've communicated it correctly because it like, that was the big mind blowing, you know, realization that we had while we were there. So yeah. I hope you have any thoughts on that. Yeah, I think another powerful exercise for anyone that they could do at home he had us imagine our favorite sports team winning a championship that's the one thing he said that that's the state that everyone gets into when your team wins when your team wins they're like oh we did it we did it they get really you know, physical and like exactly they get into it they get in that state so that's the state that he compared um he compared that we need to be in when we're doing business, when we're trying to get stuff accomplished, when we're trying to do anything important in life, anyone can do that exercise at home. Just imagine the states of your team winning a championship. You can get yourself jacked, you can jump up and down, and you can get into that state too anytime. So it's really not as tough as people make it. It's really just imagining that. 
getting into that state and doing that on a daily basis when you're getting work done and other things you need to do. Yeah, yeah, I think that was so powerful and I think that, you know, we're gonna talk more on this in future videos, guys, but I, I, I hope that this is communicated correctly. If you have any questions, kind of, maybe you didn't understand exactly what we were talking about, then leave them below in the comments. You know, we'd love to answer them for you. But guys, seriously, coming to events like this has literally changed my life. I told you guys last time at Tennis Growth Con, Taylor and, and my life changed just by going to that event and now we're going to this. And again, I mean, it's just like a whole nother level up, you know? So um, I hope this has been informative for you. I hope you've learned something today. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, but if you do like this video and you wanna share it with someone that needs help with this, maybe they're you know down, depressed, upset, then share this video with someone and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here, Taylor. I really appreciate you. Yes. See you guys. See you later, guys.